Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Half Gazette here with the next video. And as I talked about earlier, this one is sort of an attack strategy video, you could call it. Um, not, maybe not quite similar to some of the other attack strategy videos I've done, but today we're talking about back end dragons, or I guess you could just call them hero killing dragons. Basically, you're using a few dragons to go in there, take out the hero compartment, um, and it can get pretty good value for your attack. So uh, before I start, I just want to say for the comments, I am a little bit behind. I try to respond to every comment, or at least every one that kind of warrants a response, but a little bit behind. I'm going to do my best to keep up on that. Uh, so just sit tight. If you've noticed, I haven't been uh, quite as active in the comments. But anyway, um, as far as this video goes, I want you guys to focus on three things that would make it so you would want to use uh, dragons on a base. And this is kind of the old fashioned, before dragon attacks were popular, where you use six or seven and a queen walk. Uh, this is now kind of the old fashioned, how they were originally brought back at Town Hall 9, which is only using two or three, maybe a rage, to get in there and kill the enemy queen when she's offset like that. So a few things to look for. One, air defenses obviously have to be offset, um, but pretty much any anti three star base will have that. Some more so than others, so pay attention for that. Another thing is convenience. If if your kill squad can get the king and the queen and get there, you know what, just do that, come in with the kill squad. But on a base like this especially, that it, they're so offset from like this area of the base that it's kind of out of the way. If you want to attack that area, to have to go all the way over for the heroes. And people are putting their, their bases like this more and more where the heroes are so far from any traps or anything that it really needs you to split up your attack force and dragons are a great way to only have to invest you know 40 60 troop space maybe one spell but but get both heroes and you know going right in with that another thing to look for is the king if the king is in that area that's a free thing they're going to get he can't target dragons as long as they have the time to take him out uh, the king is a great bonus if he's in that compartment so look for that as well uh, but anyway those are the things you want to look for obviously it helps if there's no archer towers or expos that are too far to the outside because you kind of have to funnel in your dragons although on some bases the heroes are so exposed that you might not even need to funnel them in that much because uh, i've been seeing it more and more and maybe it's just because this war had a lot of attacks that it's making it look like that a lot of attacks that use dragons that is but i don't know i think there's something with the bases they are getting to pushing the heroes farther and further out of the base to try to defend against Valks, that it opens it up for these dragons. So anyway, Jelly came in here, uh, just dropped down a wizard to create the funnel, but mostly the funnel was already created. Dropped down the rage and three dragons. You can see the queen goes down almost instantly. Also gets great value, gets those Teslas. And the dragons are also good at dealing with CC troops. Uh, they're gonna get in there, take out the balloons and stuff. Actually, the balloons do run away a little bit, but uh, uh, the hog got the lure at least. And they can deal with CC troops if you use them right. But also something to note is how he uses them at the beginning of the attack. And that's not necessarily a requirement. You can use them midway through, uh, preferably before your hogs are, go down because you don't want the heroes, especially the queen, to lock onto your hogs. But you can do it at pretty much any time in the attack, assuming that's all that's going on on that one side of the base. So anyway, uh, Jelly does a good job there. Gets pretty good value, even though that sweeper was kind of pushing stuff away around and only now is the air defense getting on the dragons but after they've gotten three teslas a ton of other defenses and both heroes so a uh, great value they even cleared out the uh, cleared out some defenses for the hog the sneak getting at the sea sealer so they helped out with that as well and uh, this freed up his heroes to kind of come in there and negate a few double giant bomb sets i think one of which actually there was some giant bombs in that area uh, so comes in with the hogs pretty good deployment goes ahead and gets the three star, go ahead and go times two as these last few defenses go down because that's really not the focus of this video. So anyway, awesome attack to Jelly, using the dragons and uh, getting the job done on this base. All right, we'll go times four, then go on to a few more attacks. Uh, there were quite a few that used this. And like I said, maybe this is just how WHF2 builds their bases and it's kind of susceptible to that. But I think it's something that we're gonna start seeing a little bit more uh, because people are, at least as a base builder, from what I see, are starting to push the heroes farther and farther out. Uh, a great example is this base. I mean, there's so much dead space. There's that dead zone compartment, then there's two different little uh, inlets of all these trash buildings. 
and then even the queen is pretty deep into the compartment next to that. So she's so far from any reasonable double giant bomb spots or any defenses that you have to use a split hero attack. Obviously, you can do a suicide king or uh, something like that, but the dragons tend to work better, especially if there's no air defenses in the area because they're so tanky and they do quite a bit of damage. Anyway, though, the queen walk starts first. Like I said, the dragons don't have to necessarily come first. It's, it's just however you want to do your attack, whatever works easiest for deployment. So the queen's making her way through. Um, I think he might use a rage on her. Uh, or maybe not. I'm not sure. Uh, I was mainly looking at the dragons on this one. But uh, the queen steps up, starts taking out these defenses. And this is what allows you to get such great value for your heroes. Because you can use your kill squad on any part of the base. Because typically you have the constraint of having to have to get the queen too. But using the dragons, like you can see here, uh, now that your heroes are free to go in, in your Valks if you have them, and negate any double giant bomb set, go get the king. You can see he actually does a kind of a king trade right here, and then gets double duty because the king tanks for the hogs. But anyway, uh, you might notice at the beginning that the dragons hit a black air bomb, and that is a bit of an issue, so uh, I would always... You know, don't I wouldn't say expect it, but be ready for one. If if there is one there, which is, isn't that rare, you might want to have a backup plan. So three dragons is a safe number to bring. And you can see here that expo set on ground, so the dragons can get over there, take it out. And actually, the air defenses were very far away from that queen compartment, so the dragons are going to stay up for pretty much the entire attack. Uh, so awesome job. Still has two rages, not even used, and uh, just crushed this base. Good job to Rigo getting the three star and uh, doing it using dragons. All right, we'll go ahead and fast forward just a few more buildings at the bottom and the top. And this one's over, goes ahead and drops that rage for the dragons to help them uh, move through the base a little bit quicker for cleanup. So uh, let's go on to base number 24, just down a little ways here, uh, looking at Warlord. And he, once again, is using dragons, but a little bit different here, not so heavy on the hogs and mainly focusing on some Valks. So uh, obviously it doesn't have to be a hog attack, but typically it coincides with a ground attack because, uh, well, yeah, it typically it will, although you might see a variation every once in a while. But for the most part, the dragon attacks with like five, six dragons, I really haven't been seeing at all. Maybe it's a time issue, or maybe it's something else I'm missing. I don't know, the extra expo damage definitely did something to both queen walks and air attacks in general. So, I don't know. I've seen some Golaloon, but not many dragon attacks besides just the few uh, queen killer dragons, whatever you want to call them. But looking at this base, another great example has both heroes, uh, both very exposed, and the dragons just come in here, take them out, and uh, once again uses the dragons to uh, drop in a few hogs on the uh, part of the base they've taken out to get the CC lure. The king actually doesn't quite go down, but no big deal. Uh, I got some damage on him at least and the CC is lured out that one dragon is going to do a little bit of damage to those archers before it goes down that one air defense was pretty close so didn't get a ton of value but I think it was definitely still worth it because it's freeing up his kill squad to come at this base from a much more preferable angle you can see here comes in uh, there goes the king puts a heal down for him and the Valks and they're just going to walk through this base has a few more heals for them and the nice thing is that that little double set of walls Make sure they're not going to, except for those few Valks that take the jump for some reason, uh, they're not going to go out to those trash buildings. So he doesn't have to worry about bringing a jump. He knows they're going to go to that next wall and continue to make their way through the base, taking out the defenses that are left. A few balloons to help out here. But this base is already done and uh, definitely got some good value for those dragons. Uh, the king is still up, like I said, but the uh, Valks can take care of him, no problem. Everything kind of converging on this last little area of the base. Uh, but yeah, that's the strategy, guys. One more time, what you want to look for is uh, the king and the queen in the same compartment and exposed in that compartment. It might be easier if there's no archer towers or anything like that because people sometimes get sloppy. They don't put an archer tower to guard against like a minion funnel and that might let you make a, a free, easy funnel to make sure your dragons go in there because obviously funneling is important. So yeah, the heroes together um, and air defenses in, like in most bases, going to be offset. As long as there's not one like in that immediate compartment, you should be fine. And uh, once again, convenience is huge. 
By doing this, you can free up your kill squad to attack any part of the base you want, depending on where you think or where you know the double giant bomb sets are. So thanks for watching. Hope this one helps. And uh, maybe you guys can utilize this in your attacks uh, moving forward. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video by Sectatron out.